What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another jailbreak status update video. I'm gonna talk about all of the current jailbreaks for iOS 14 and all of the information you need if you want to jailbreak in 2021. I'll even give information for those of you that are already jailbroken and uh, I'm gonna try to just blast through all of this information to give you guys all the info I have as quickly as possible. Now I do quickly wanna mention that date check, it is May 8th, it is Saturday. Uh, if you guys are watching this in the future, um, there's probably a more updated video. Check out the playlist link in the description. I keep all of the jailbreak status update videos in that playlist and the newest one is always at the top. I generally do one of these videos per week. So if it's over a week old, there's probably a newer version. And again, you can find that in the playlist link in the description. Now, recently Apple did release 14.5.1, also 14.5 shortly before that. And whenever new versions of iOS come out, there is a huge flood of scam videos uh, that are pushed out by the scam tubers showing fake jailbreaks for unsupported iOS versions. It's super frustrating and very annoying. And uh, it just makes me sad. And I think it's really quite gross that people do that. Uh, but there's a huge flood out right now. So if you guys want to help this video out, uh, be sure to throw the thumbs up and leave a comment down below. That really does help my videos out. It helps beat the scam tubers. But anyways, uh, back on track here. So we're going to talk about current jailbreaks. And like I said, I'm going to go through this as quick as possible to not waste your time because I know my subscribers, for the most part, have accurate information and they know of most stuff. And that's why I try to expand upon these videos to give those, uh, those of you that are subscribed more information each time. And like I said, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about where I get my information. Where do I find out about this stuff? And that'll be kind of the added extra uh, to this update. But anyways, we're going to blast through this. We got Uncover. This is a semi-untethered jailbreak. It is an application-based jailbreak. It supports iOS 11.0 through 14.3. So in terms of iOS 14, that would be iOS 14.0 up to 14.3. It does not support 14.4 and above as of the making of this video. And the only place you can trust it is from the official website right here. Link will be in the description. Again, this is a semi-untethered jailbreak, application-based jailbreak. The next jailbreak we've got is Taurin, and I like to see that they got their supported versions added to the top here. That's kind of new, so I don't know if they maybe saw one of my videos or something, but uh, Taurin does support iOS 14.0 through 14.3. Uh, it is a semi-untethered application jailbreak uh, it's basically using the same exploit that Uncover uses. So both of these jailbreaks are using the same Secuta Verosa exploit in their jailbreak utility to jailbreak 14.0 through 14.3. And on a side note, on my 10s Max here that's on 14.3, I am currently using the Taurine jailbreak. That is just my jailbreak of choice. I think both jailbreaks are pretty damn awesome. I just like Taurine. And now we're going to talk about check rain the most confusing jailbreak of them all this one really gets everyone confused so check rain is a semi tethered jailbreak supporting all versions of ios basically ios 12 and up so from ios 12 and up it can forever be updated to support the newest version of ios and it does currently support the newer versions like 14.5 and even 14.6 because I have my 7 Plus, my iPhone 7 Plus is jailbroken on iOS 14.6. Now, like I said, this is a semi-tethered jailbreak, meaning uh, you have to use the CheckRain application on your computer to jailbreak your iPhone. And this jailbreak only supports iPhone 10 and older. So iPhone 10, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7, 7 Plus, etc. Anything iPhone 10 and older. For those of you that might have an iPad and you're curious if CheckRain will work on it, just Google whatever version iPad you have and Google, let's say, iPad 7 chip, question mark. Just figure out which chip your iPad has and if it's an A11 chip or older, you can use CheckRain to jailbreak. So it'd be like A11, A10, A9, 
A8, etc. And I've had a lot of people ask me, is CheckRain updatable? Can CheckRain be updated to the newer iPhones like the 12 Pro Max here? And unfortunately, no, it cannot be updated to the newer iPhones because it is a hardware-based jailbreak, meaning the hardware that is in the iPhone 10 and older or iOS device that has A11 chip and older, uh, the boot ROM is what is um, you know what what is vulnerable to the CheckRain exploit that it uses. So the physical hardware in these devices is what is vulnerable. And that's why it can forever be on the newest version of iOS because Apple cannot patch hardware. They're not going to come to your house and unsolder the boot ROM out of your iPhone or iPad and solder in a new one. So with that being said, to me, the iPhone 10 is actually a pretty damn legendary device. It was the first iPhone with a notch. It was the first iPhone with the full screen swipe gesture kind of form factor. And it is the forever jailbreakable iPhone, which is pretty damn sweet. But yes, check rain, iPhone 10 and older, up to the latest version of iOS. It'll always be on the latest version. So as soon as 14.6 is released to the public, check rain will be updated and you will be able to jailbreak the older iPhones on 14.6 using check rain. Again, I'll leave the website link in the description. There's a whole bunch of information here if you guys want to read up on it and figure out how it works. So those are the current jailbreaks. Now I'm also gonna quickly talk about versions of iOS, what's being signed, what you can downgrade to, etc. So currently, as of the making of this video, 14.5.1 and 14.5 are being signed by Apple. So if you're on 14.5.1, you can downgrade to 14.5. If you're on 14.5, you cannot downgrade any further. Uh, as you can see on this website, as soon as the version of iOS is in red, that means that Apple is not signing it, meaning you cannot restore your iPhone to that version of iOS. Now there is a workaround for um, restoring to unsigned versions but you need to have your blobs saved and you need to use future restore on your computer. And if you haven't saved your blobs, you need to manually do that. And you would know if you've done it or not. So if you have not done that, you cannot use future, future restore. But like I said, I don't wanna talk too much about that in this video, just wanted to you know, explain signed versions. Now, in terms of what iOS version should you be on to get the next jailbreak? And like I said, this is completely opinion based. Uh, so this is my opinion and this is, you know, my m most um, accurate um, educated guess I could give you guys. So if you guys are on 14.4.2, stay there. If you're on 14.4.1, stay there. If you're on 14.4, stay there. Uh, the lower, the better. So the lower you can be in iOS, the better. Obviously, if you guys are on 14.3 or below, definitely stay there because you can currently jailbreak, which is freaking cool. And if you guys are on either 14.5.1 or 14.5, um, just stay there. Uh, if you're on 14.5.1, definitely downgrade to 14.5 and then stay there. The way you jailbreak nowadays in 2021 is to not update your iOS device. Do not update it. That's how you can get a jailbreak. So if you would have stopped updating your iPhone on iOS 14.0, you would be able to jailbreak right now. Or if you stopped updating it on iOS 14.3, you could jailbreak it right now. And the only way you can get that is if you don't update. And the way you do this is if you go into settings, you go down to general and you go to software update. Now I'm going to turn it on just to show you what it looks like when it's turned on. So usually by default on your iPhone or iPad, these are turned on. So as you can see, it's got download iOS updates and install iOS updates. So basically what's gonna happen, if this is turned on at night when you go to bed and put your iPhone on the charger, your iPhone is gonna automatically update to the newest version of iOS. And that's basically gonna prevent you from ever getting a jailbreak. That's what that's in place for basically. Uh, of course, it's to keep you on the newest, most secure and bleeding edge version of iOS, but it's also gonna prevent you from jailbreaking. And you can turn these off. 
just turn them off like that. And now your iPhone will not update. You will occasionally get a pop-up message saying, hey, there's a new version of iOS out. Would you like to view it or would you like to install it? It's kind of worded a little weird and Apple does that, um, you know, to hopefully get you to update. You just click on view and it will show you the update and then you can just cancel out and it won't update your iPhone. So that is how you prevent your iPhone or your iPad from updating. And that's how you're going to get jailbroken in 2021 is you need to not update your iPhone and you need to sit and wait on an older version of iOS and then hopefully we could see a jailbreak utility updated for it when they find an exploit for it. That's how it works. Now, like I said, I'm gonna quickly talk about uh, information. Where do I get jailbreak information? Where do I chill and chat with people to you know, be on uh, the latest news and just know what's going on in the world of jailbreaking? So first and foremost is Twitter. Uh, this has kind of always been my go-to platform for getting jailbreak information. Um, I generally like to um, retweet or quote tweets that are important in terms of jailbreaking. Also, uh, I like to cover, you know, talk about things on the on the current versions of iOS when a new version of iOS is released or basically anything that I can find on Twitter. Um, I like to retweet and give you guys that information. Um, so that's probably my number one place for getting the latest jailbreak news and another really good place. And I want to mention this because for those of you that have issues with like check rain, you can't figure out how to use something or you're, you know, you're trying to figure out how a jailbreak utility works or you have a question. This is the place you guys want to go right here. The Reddit jailbreak discord. This is where you guys want to go. If you guys have questions about a jailbreak, this is the place to be. Now, don't go here and ask when is a jailbreak going to release because nobody knows and that can get you banned on this Discord. So nobody knows when a jailbreak is going to come out. Trust me, nobody knows when a jailbreak is going to release. So don't ask. But if you guys want information on, you know, like I said, how to use a utility or, you know, how something works, this is the place to ask. There is a ton of members in the Reddit jailbreak discord. As you can see, the jailbreak channel here is incredibly active of people talking about tweaks and jailbreaks and themes and all of that great stuff. There's also an announcements channel here so you guys can get notifications when certain things are going down in the world of either jailbreaking or iOS in general. So another great place to get the latest information in terms of jailbreaking. I mean, the the Discord channel is, it's got jailbreak in the name, so it kind of speaks for itself. It's got 47,000 members and almost 10,000 people are online right now. So if you guys got questions or you want information, check out the Reddit jailbreak uh, Discord link in the description and my Twitter link is down there as well. And that's all of the newest information. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.